Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're here talking about the Tamiya 8 Sand Viper TTO2. Main reason why I'm talking about this car is, number one, this is another one of these videos where I kind of say, how good is it and is it worth the money video? And the main reason why I'm doing this car is because obviously I own one of these. So I feel like it'd be easier to judge one on a car that I own. I'm still currently looking for my uh, fourth car, which I'd love to be a kind of um, special car, if it makes sense. Something that's fast and something that I'm going to love and want to use all the time. Um, so, don't know what that is yet, but um, hopefully uh, we'll get, I'll work out what it is. So, my squeaky chair again. Let's talk about the car. So, bits about the car that you might want to be aware of if you're thinking about buying one of these. Number one, make sure that this back bit here is tightened up properly. I know it's going to sound silly, but the first time I ever ran this car, I got back and I was I was out um, at the time when we came back and we went to use it and we used it for about 30 seconds and I turned around a corner and the back bit there, the whole back side kind of just slipped off, if that makes sense. And I found out that I didn't tighten this up properly. I know beginner's mistake, sort of, I know just me being pretty silly doing it, but basically, yeah, Make sure to have that one tightened up, especially. All the other ones are completely tight, and I still tighten that up, and it's still kind of a little bit wobbly still. So just make sure with that bit. Also, be careful on don't slide it too much because the tyres do go down a lot. I've found that out quite a lot as well. Also, don't lose any of the bearings for the front wheels as well because otherwise that can make it very tricky to steer and very wobbly. Other than that, nothing else to say. Really nice car. I've currently got it painted out in this main bit here is blue kept with the black bits on the side and the Tamiya sticker on there and a white um, rear wing. If you would like to see any footage of that car running and stuff like that, go down to my playlist, go to RC videos and you'll find it in there. I've never, ever, ever had a problem with it other than that. And this bit here, I bear in mind we've had it for two years, this bit here had a little crack in it and we had to replace it. Other than that, two years, and I use it probably once a week, and I use it like ragged, basically. I use every, I, you know, it's either, I don't know, it's, it gets used a lot, let's just put it that way. It gets used a very lot, um, and I love it, I really do. It's one of my favourite cars to use, it's one of them cars that you can literally just plug in a battery, put in and go. With stuff like a, an X-Max, for example, which I've been doing, or, you know, Something like that, for example. Every single outing, you've got to make sure it's good. Obviously, I do make sure it's good and stuff and make sure nothing's broken. But with that, you've got to, like, you know, check everything. But with that, you've got to make sure nip up all the screws and you're fine. And you just chuck a battery in and away you go. It's, it's you know, in that, it's just very easy to use. Uh, very good for beginners as well. There's a lot. Tamiya are one of the best beginner cars. Also gets you, like, learning about tools and stuff like that quite a lot. Because you've got to learn... You know, the basics of a car, if that makes sense, you've got to make sure. Because with Tamiya, you've got to build them. So, obviously, you've got to make sure that you, you can build properly. You've got to make sure that you put it all together. To be honest, I didn't actually build this. We got it as a uh, Christmas present. Um, so, yeah. What my opinion on the car? Great car. Really is lovely car. I'm not going to be biased because I own one. Uh, I genuinely do think these are one of the best cars out there. Um, and just a car that I think many people should have. It's a great car. So here's some of the specs. I'll leave you to pause it on there. Ours is completely stock still. Um, we still have the 540 motor in it. We've got a, ooh, a Nikon high drive system. Um, I don't know the um, ESC. I do know the servo is a Karsha servo. The reason why it has a Karsha servo is because the I had an armor system in there. Um, an armor servo and it broke and we just haven't uh, and it just broke so I just put in the Kasha one because I had it laying around so I put that in there and it's fine so I'll come back to the price in a bit because obviously I need to do my final verdict um, these are the bundles £186 buys you the car a 2.4 gigahertz um, transmitter or uh, radio whatever you want to call it a Eight pounds servo, so you know it's gonna be all right. It's not gonna be amazing, but it's gonna be pretty decent. A Gen Gen Zace Nikma high drive battery, two thousand two hundred. Um, I definitely, if I was you, I'd recommend getting a better version of this. 
There are, in the other bundles down below, there are better batteries, but I recommend getting a better version of this. Charger, it's all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to work. And the uh, batteries. So yeah, out of all that lot, definitely for a beginner, I'll definitely keep that, definitely keep that. Um, possibly give it a better battery. Charger's fine if you're going to be a beginner. You're not going to use it too much. The second bundle, same stuff, same servo, same um, controller, same car, obviously. Better battery. This is the battery that I recommend getting if you're a beginner and probably the best um, kind of cheaper. Um, oh, it's got on my brain charger. Um, the bundle number three, the car, a better radio. These radios are the top of radios that I use. I use a Dumbo radio for the uh, Schumacher, but the other ones I use a Futaba T2HA, I believe it is, radio, and it's really good. Uh, stick radio, really, really good. Same server, same batteries, same charger, just the control is a little bit different. So, if you want to see it for yourself, it's on Model Sport right now. Recommend getting one of these, um, but it's up to you. The next in stock on the 31st of June, 2021. So, yeah. So, what's my verdict on the car? I think this is one of the best cars out there for Tamiya, if that makes sense. Um, they are amazing cars. Great fun. Really cheap. Well, I say cheap. You know, there are a lot of expensive stuff out there. But for a cheapish one, I'd say they're faultless. Really are. Amazing car. Great looking body, great looking design. I think that is just what you want. Price, again, what else can you argue with, really? Maybe 115, I'm gonna just take 10 quid off. But other than that, nothing else. Pretty 10 quid off for all the bundles as well. Uh, so like one, uh, 175, 190 and two, no, 195, I'll probably give this one here. So yeah. That's my verdict on the car. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Also, if you want to see any of my uh, videos, just go to playlists and check through whatever you want, you fancy watching. All on there. Trying to get monetized as soon as we can, so try and help me get there. And, yeah, thank you guys so much. I will see you later. Bye.